What is up you guys, my name is Curtis, your SGO footy guru, and we finally have the official announcement of EA Sports FC. Now, they did have like a little bit of an acknowledgement, I think last year Electronic Arts did, where they kind of said that there's a new era of football coming, and um, now we are finally here. EA Sports FC has finally been revealed to everybody, so you see right here, learn more this July, so obviously there's going to probably be like a breakdown video or like an initial trailer that's going to come out this july which is very exciting to see um like i said like you know uh, with the title of this video this is our first info that we're really getting that's official from electronic arts and we need to just see what, what's going to happen with ea sports fc so um there's going to be a i would say there's going to be a trailer here um probably like a high promotion three uh that's going to be happening um and i think that's what that that particular trailer is probably going to focus on or it's probably just going to focus on just like introducing ea sports fc in video form to people so you can join the club here you'll have it'll be like a newsletter you'll get in your email things like that um so the first thing kind of pops off and this is on the um the new ea.com ea sports fc page um the world's game the EA Sports F uh, FC platform is home to the biggest competition leagues and players across the men's and women's game. So, of course, they've added a lot more women's teams and leagues into the game recently. And that is obviously going to continue. So this is our first look at like what leagues are going to be in the game. Of course, a lot of these leagues were in FIFA. I would say just about every one of these leagues are all in FIFA. I, I think there's no surprises here. I mean, League of Portugal... Um, the Russian League, the K League, Premier League, EFL, like all that stuff is in the is already in FIFA. But of course, this is all just kind of com confirmation that these are all the leagues that are going to be in this game again. Um, like once, you know, when FIFA decided to, you know, break away from Electronic Arts or vice versa, they decided to um, because. EA had the fee, the FIFA Pro license. They were able to retain a lot of these leagues, players, you know, logos, kits, clubs, everything. They were able to retain those licenses. That's why we're going to see a lot of this in EA Sports FC. Um, so, of course, like I said, Premier League, the Champions League, uh, it also um, Football Manager uh, FM23 has the uh, Champions League license also also the Europa League license and it looks really great in that game but that that uh, competition is definitely being licensed out you have a uh, Premier League Champions League the UEFA Women's Champions League which recently FIFA just got you have La Liga Bundesliga Le Ligue 1 Serie A uh, you know the Women's Super League and the National Women's Super League which once again FIFA just got that in FIFA 23 um Created by the fan, uh, created for the fans, by the fans. EA Sports FC is a football club uh, for the future, and we want to, for the future of football. We want to build together. Um, our new brand identity is inspired by triangles from being a part. All this is just talking about them talk, boasting about 30 years of like football, football gaming that they've been doing, um, and that's kind of it in terms of what we've gotten so far so all the licenses are still here it's gonna very much look like fifa of course with all the licenses and things like that they're not changing from what i know so far they're not changing any any engines they're not going from frostbite to unreal they're not doing anything like that or for what we know so far this is what we have right here um i guess one of the biggest things that we can talk about right now is maybe some of the rumors that are coming around because th there's a lot going on especially if you're on twitter right now there's a lot going on about uh, ea sports fc of course one of the biggest things is that there's going to be an online mode um an online career mode which is a big rumor right now and i think that's going to be one of the big talking points of ea sports fc because i read something from uh tom henderson recently that saying that basically the game is just it's the same but it's just a, a name change so it's fifa 23 but they're taking out the fifa part and they're just putting in ea sports fc and that's basically it that's gonna really really irritate me i'm not even gonna lie um that's i'm not gonna like that not one bit because i think when you look at what fifa uh, what electronic arts was saying after they split from fifa basically saying that it's fifa's fault that they couldn't you know 
progress the game forward with better modes and updating the modes better and introducing more modes it was all fifa's fault well now fifa's out of the equation so what it, it's in your near it's in your hands now electronic arts it's in your hands and i would personally i want to see crossplay come to pro clubs i think that's a feature that should have been in last year's game you have games like diablo 4 you have games like call of duty all these games all have crossplay you should have crossplay in this game by now um and i think an online mode should have already happened but an online mode online career mode where you get on with your friends and stuff like that similar to what you do on madden i think that would be great and i think that career mode needs an overhaul i think pro clubs needs more features added to it i think player career needs a bit of an overhaul now those modes in particular have had smaller upgrades or updates to them or like added look they have they've added little features that's what i should say they've added little features here and there like the rpg style you know uh objectives to player career that they've added recently those should be massively updated but how what is the identity of ea sports fc that that's what i'm getting at what is what is going to be the identity of this game it's gonna is it gonna stay just like fifa and just be called ea sports fc what is the identity of career mode like where are we going with career mode how is this mode gonna progress how is pro clubs which is a massive mode people love it how is it going to progress um same thing like why are we keeping volta around because volta's in this game too why are we keeping volta around you know what are you doing with ultimate team you know is all your focus just going to be on ultimate team so there's a lot of questions that we still have to ask of electronic arts in before this game comes out but we'll know more right here july we'll know more well you guys don't see it hold on right here we'll know in july and i'll be right here on sports gamers online to tell you guys about it so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel my name is curtis make sure you guys follow me on twitter at cali from the dojo because i'm i've been posting a lot of stuff recently a lot of like rumors and things like that like that as the news comes out i've been posting a lot of stuff so make sure you guys subscribe to me uh i mean make sure you guys follow me on twitter at cali from the dojo and i'll check you guys later all right peace if you guys like the content we do here on Sports Gamers Online, then hit that like button and subscribe to SGO right now. And if you want the most out of your SGO experience, then join SGO Insider.